Hello everyone, today we would be talking about Guilford's model of intellect and this was given in 1961 and I would just like to talk about how this theory came into being very quickly. So they were doing a lot of uh, research studies in University of Southern California and they conducted a lot of research studies as I said which involved a lot of intelligence tests. So what they concluded is that every mental process every mental process or intellectual activity can be described in the basis of these three basic dimensions or parameters. Now, what are the three basic dimensions? The three basic dimensions are your operations, contents, and products. So, what is operation? Operation is the act of thinking. Under operations, there are five divisions of intellectual activity, which is the operations here. This is evaluation, convergent thinking, divergent thinking, memory, and cognition. Then comes your content. The content is the terms in which we think, such as the words and symbols. Like, how do we think? If I am thinking of a red apple, red apple, I'm going to think in my visual spatial sketch pad. Visually, I'm thinking Apple now, visually. So, this is my contents, the terms in which we think. Now, which is the product? Products are the ideas which we come up with, like units, classes, relation, system, transformation, implication. Suppose a very simple question, what is the similarity between between an apple and a mango. What is the similarity between an apple and a mango? So when we are thinking, we're thinking, okay, what is an apple? Apple is a, okay, apple is a fruit. What do we eat? First we see, okay, apple, mango. Okay, there are, there are things which we eat. Then what are they? They are, okay, they are fruits. So when we are thinking so much that apple and uh, banana, uh, apple and mangoes we eat, they are fruits, they grow on trees. So that is the act of thinking. We are taking stuff from our memory that we have learned. We have memory can be that we have eaten. This is we are thinking. That is operations. Contents. What are the contents? We are how how are we thinking? Maybe we are drawing it about and then going about it. That would be visually. If we are uh, listening, it can. There might be another problem where it is auditory. The thinking, uh, the terms in which we are thinking is auditory. So there can be a lot of ways, but here it's visual. In this. This problem it's visual now what are the products which we come up with we came up with classes that it's a fruit fruit is a class so Guilford said this is how intelligence works and now this is a very easy way if there is a very complicated solution now a very complicated solution if I come up with like there is flood in my area and people are evacuated waiting their homes now there are so many things i have to think about so maybe i have to take a little bit of food maybe oh my, my my important documents okay that i have to take in so how, how am i going to send my father at a camp maybe how do i send my mother to a safe place how do i send my siblings to a safe place all this thinking and then when when i come up with a solution okay this would go maybe in this direction i would go in that direction or if we want to be together so that's a very complex thinking process and in those complex thinking process what guilford says is that all these three dimensions come into act 
which is operations, contents and products. And totally he said there are 150 factors. How 150 factors? 5, 5 and 6. 5 into 5. 5 into 6 is 150 factors. We saw in other factor theories like Spearman's two-factor theory, which is the G and the S. And then we saw in Thurston's a group factor theory, which has nine factors. But Gilfit's model of intellect, total about it has 150 factors in all. So this was your group, um, sorry, Gilfit's model of intellect. Gilfit's model of intellect is not in the UGC syllabus as such, but I feel it's a very important part of any psychology exam. So I have included Gilfit's model of intellect. I hope you understand. And if you have any problems or questions, you can leave them down below or email me. Thank you so much for listening in and have a great day.